Baik, untuk minggu harapan sudah pasti negara tertumpu kepada pelaksanaan PKP 3.0 yang diperketatkan melihat kepada bagaimana pecahan tenaga kerja kalau di sektor awam itu 80% bekerja di rumah manakala sektor swasta ditetapkan sekitar 40% bekerja di rumah. Persoalan timbul di pihak industri bagaimanakah untuk mereka mengawal dan juga melaksanakan perkara ini? Untuk berbincang lebih lanjut, saya nak bersama dengan pengarah eksekutif MICCI, Sean Edward Chia yang bersedia di talian pada ketika ini. Sean, thank you so much for joining us at this time. Sean, 40% yes, of the private workforce to be working from home. What are the challenges for the industry? Okay, um, the 40% is actually workable um, as long as it doesn't extend too long. I mean, we have been working in this condition for more than uh, a year now. So we can, uh, as international, MICCI um, handles international investors, so they are pretty good in adapting to this situation. Uh, uh, the challenges will likely be discipline uh, when you're at home. It's uh, too much noise, it's here, the children is there, you know, and that's whether you have... Uh, a working space, that's the, the main challenge. Sean, uh, this is a new norm and some experts say that uh, this will stay for a very long time, uh, the way we work and all that. How do businesses adapt to this? Okay, um, businesses, the, it's in their DNA to be perpetually surviving. I mean, it has to adapt itself and uh, we have it adapted quite well. And first thing you must understand is that the COVID uh, virus is here to stay. It's already here. It's going to be here. And if it's not uh, in the future, it could be another variant. So it is about not um, be a, you, you cannot continue to be battling the, the, uh, the virus, but it, you need to pivot your, your business to survive such uh, pandemics in the future. So uh, a lot of companies have now, you know, done a lot of the uh, online work. They have uh, up, upgraded their IT system so that uh, they can actually work offline. And uh, the, each business have, I mean, most of the international businesses have uh, the business continuity planning uh, to, to be able to, to, to overcome uh, challenges. Um, MICCI is the oldest chamber in Malaysia. We are all more than 184 years old. Uh, our our members have seen two world wars, a pandemic, and a lot of challenges, and we have survived. So so think hard that we do survive. And a lot of people urge the government to impose the total lockdown, and then uh, like, just like the, uh, MCO 1.0. What's your take on this? And then also with the current implementation of the uh, tightening of the MCO, will it impact the productivity rate? Yes, it, it certainly does uh, in fact, uh, impact productivity rate because humans are by nature social and uh, we, you know, we interact, uh, we, we watch for body language, we, we, we watch for understanding and direction. So productivity is impacted. Uh, you would see averagely um, maybe a, a reduction of about 40 to 50 percent uh, productivity. Uh, in terms of a full lockdown, um, you must understand that the full lockdown should only be not for eradication of the virus, but more to flatten the curve because the, uh, the medical facilities are being uh, uh, overwhelmed. So the only way you, you can lock down, but you cannot prolong the lockdown because it becomes the next thing that uh, businesses have uh, trouble with is uncertainty. If it's certain, okay, it's going to be two weeks, uh, then probably businesses are getting to fight the bullet and say, okay, let's lock down for two weeks for flattening the stuff. But if it goes on to expand another two weeks, extend another two weeks, then it becomes uh, uh, very bad for business. Back to you. Yeah. Sean, we have been battling with COVID-19 more than one year by now. And also by now, companies should have their uh, scenario analysis, for instance, for COVID-19 infection in their organizations uh, itself, such as uh, when to close down and then when to reduce workers uh, in the office, etc. How about for MICCI? How prepared are you uh, for these situations? Right. Okay. As I say, the DNA for every business is its continual survival. No business will purposely put themselves in danger. So in terms of compliance to SOPs and, and, and to prevent uh, 
um, the business from being impacted by the virus, businesses do adapt and to, to prevent from closing. Now, in terms of are we prepared yet, um, last year, we, the industry, we worked with the, uh, the government in working out a standard set of um, SOP. So depending on the level, especially the blue, the green, the yellow, and the red alert, and the trigger point might be the number of cases or the R, R uh, uh, matrix. So for business to know that, okay, if the, the cases are spiking towards, let's say, the threshold of 6,000, then uh, red comes on. And when red comes on, these are the FOPs for red, what red comes on. Then there's certainty. Businesses can then start to adapt seeing that if the number climbing towards that next threshold, they can then adapt by quickly uh, preparing for the, 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 the FOP standard. The problem we have now here is that uh, it's very uncertain. We don't know what is what, and uh, the, the, the SOPs are not as standard as, as it should be. Yeah. That's the uh, biggest issue. Um, but experiences from the last MCO1, MCO2, CMCO to LMCO to now the MCO 3.0, I think we have sort of uh, have an understanding of uh, how the SOPs are moving so we can adapt to it quite well. We are quite prepared now. Yeah, you have the understanding of the of the uh, guidelines, uh, I'm pretty sure, but are the guidelines set by the power that be clear enough to be followed, especially right now? Uh, that is the biggest, biggest challenge that we, we have. We have always asked the, uh, the the government authorities to engage with the industry. We are the ones that help you. Um, first thing is every business is unique. It runs its own way of processing. It cannot be all the same. So if you were to put in a generic SOP, it doesn't work for everyone. That's why it's all very confusing. So my, my take is always this, that government shouldn't be going uh, micromanaging businesses by giving very specific or what they call granular SOPs. They should just keep it simple. What I, I, I want to say is KISS, is keep it simple SOP. For example, physical distancing 1.5 meters between two, two persons. Okay, that's it. That's the guideline. You don't have to mention 60% have to work, management 20%, you know, how many people, one table, two persons. See, you don't need to go to this less detail. The fact is that it leaves it up to the business. You organize yourself. If I have a, a thousand workers, but the size of my factory is, let's say, uh, five football fields, I can fit all, no issue, 1.52 meters apart, I can fit. As opposed to a, a company with only 10 people, but in a, in a small room, so you cannot, right? So if you keep it simple, to say 1.5 meters, if your business, you're able to 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 adhere to that, then it's okay to operate. So instead of uh, making very granular, granular rules, like say, okay, one table must be two person, one car, like that. no, this is too, too much, too much. And then the enforcement agencies also become uh, confused. Too many rules, too many things, if this, if that. So to be clear, the tagline, you know, just keep it simple, you know, uh, sanitization, face mask, um, uh, just, uh, physical distancing, enough. I mean, it's only that is good enough. Anything you want to do based on those guidelines should be enough. That's the, 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 the main thing. The other part of it is now there is no standardized SOP, so we don't know what's next. That's where uh, businesses have a problem. Factories cannot simply switch off and switch on again, you know, because they need to run down their production. There's a lot of stuff like uh, furnaces. You need to cool the, the, the metals which are being melted. You can't just like switch off and tomorrow switch it back on, you know, because it takes time to, to go back on. So it's about certainty, uh, okay? The, the, the point is certainty and the SOPs are clear. Okay, Sean, thank you so much for joining us at this time. Sean Edward Chia, Pengarah Executive MICCI, bincangkan tentang uh, apa, uh, PKP yang diketatkan iaitu bagi pihak swasta 40% tenaga kerja adalah bekerja dari rumah.